Hey, what is going on my beautiful people of the internet? I hope all you mofos are having a wonderful ass day. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Alex Easy Comet D. You know what I'm saying, baby? Thank you guys for watching. You know, before we even get this video started, if you aren't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. You know what I'm saying? Down here, baby. And while you're at it, you might as well hit that little notification bell so all you mofos know when I upload my next videos, baby. Whether they're skits, podcasts, adventure times, or even just vlogging, straight up raw vlogging. If that's what you guys want to see then go ahead and hit that subscribe button baby and if i made you smile then subscribe and by the way don't be minding my italic font team throughout this whole video i know you motherfuckers see it just think i speak cursive or some shit but fuck you i right? so some of you may or may not know but i've been on youtube for about seven to eight years and i haven't really shared much about my personal life or many things about myself so i thought today would get a little closer you know you and me you sitting right there i see you watching me stay sexy and so i thought i'd give you guys 10 things about myself so let's get into it all right baby fact number one so some of you guys may or may not know but i actually have adhd and a high amount out of it i don't know if that's how you would say it but i have adhd and what adhd stands for is attention deficit hyperactivity disorder that basically means that you have a hard time you know concentrating on certain tasks you can't multitask it's usually difficult for some people another thing is that you really can't sit still which means you're constantly moving a part of your body because if not you feel weird without doing it which is something that i struggle with because for the life of me i can't sit still for shit you know on some occasions i've been known to uh, get distracted with a little rapper for like two or three hours stuff like that you know what i'm saying <laughs> Okay, shouldn't be too hard, right? All the doctor said is that I have to stay still for at least 30 seconds a day. Oh my kidding? I, I could do this. Shouldn't be that hard, right? All right. Yeah, I need to move. Yeah, fuck this shit. Oh, oh, fuck, I can't do it. I tried. <sighs> fact number two. So fact number two may be associated with fact number one now that I think about it, because fact number two basically means I have no filter. And the reason I say I have no filter is because sometimes I'd be saying shit without even thinking about it. So it's like diarrhea coming out your mouth, you know what I'm saying? You know, like when you have that nasty ass, fake ass Mexican food, it starts bubbling all up in your stomach, then you're like, oh wait, hold up, I think I got diarrhea. So yeah, except it's coming out your mouth and with dumb ass words and jokes, and sometimes things that may be considered um, out of pocket. So yeah so you know if you ever meet me and i ever say some shit out of pocket you know i i don't mean it maybe i do i just sometimes i just don't give a fuck you know what i'm saying and i just be acting all kinds of out of pocket kind of shit so uh yeah <laughs> yeah bro the cancer's gotten pretty fucking crazy i mean it's gone pretty bad damn bro really but I think next week, she's going completely bald, bro. Shaving everything off. That shit's crazy, bro. That shit's rough. I mean, I hope I hope she's doing okay, though. Yeah, no hair whatsoever, you know. Straight, clean cut, bald, you know. Damn, that's wild. So, like, no hair at all? Like, completely bald? Yeah, no hair. Nothing. Why? Well, I mean, I'm just wondering, you know, because, like, I don't know if you guys ever wondered, you know, but, like, I mean, is she going to look like Mr. Clean? Bro, you know, is she going to wash her head with shampoo or, like, body wash? Like, what the fuck do people like that wash their hair with? You know what I'm saying? Like, is that shit going to be shiny or not? Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? What the hell? I mean, what? What? I, I don't understand. What's wrong? You're like, it's, it's a valid question, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't understand why you guys, what, what's going on? What? I don't get it. On to fact number three. So you guys may have seen it in the videos or maybe not, but the people close to me have definitely seen my goddamn nerdy side. And what do I mean by my nerdy side? Well, you know, you may have gotten bullied back in the day for it, but now all of a sudden it's cool shit. And what I mean by it is, is you know, Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, you know, Lords of the Rings, Pokemans. You know, I used to, I play Pokemans till this day. Not the card game, but the video game and shit. I'm into all kinds of video games. I do gaming. You guys can see my gaming PC right here. Yeah. I just got it, baby, you know, it's brand new as shit. So yeah, basically anything nerdy you guys can think about, I'm probably into, you know what I'm saying? Except none of that furry or hentai shit, you know? You all some weird motherfuckers for that shit. I never watched hentai. <laughs> Sorry I didn't, not once. Who's that Pokemon?
Oh, I know that one. That's straight up motherfucking Pikachu, homie. It's what the fuck? On to fact number four. So some of you guys may not even know this piece of information, but I actually got deported at the age of 12 back to my home country, Zacatecas, Mexico. Shout out to my Zacatecanos out there, love you fuckers. But yeah, I got deported at the age of 12 and I was out there for about five years. The situation was I was trying to get my visa and everything worked out and they basically told me I'd have to go back to my home country for a few weeks and then I could come back. But uh, you know, stuff got complicated and I ended up being there for five years. We could get into that in a whole different story time if you guys would like me to. Oddly enough, the same year I came back is the year that I started this YouTube channel back in 2015. So if you guys have been watching since then, you know, thank you guys for supporting. I love you guys. I sent all you motherfuckers beautiful ass kisses, you know what I'm saying? Italic funk kiss, baby. Well, if it ain't time for number five. So growing up, I was actually into all kinds of art. So I, I got into everything, whether it was drawing, painting, oil painting, I started doing everything. Growing up, as I got this camera, I actually started doing <laughs> photography. And you know, I enjoy doing photography. May or may not have seen some of my photography on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, though, what the fuck are you guys doing? Go ahead and check it out down below. I got the link for you guys to go follow me on Instagram at official Alex Easy Comedy. So make sure you guys go ahead and check me out. I enjoy recording skits. Obviously, as you guys have seen it on the channel, videos, you know, just entertaining people, creating art and everything. So that's one big thing about me. I'm an artist, I guess. At heart, I love doing art, all kinds of shit. And on to fact number six. Now I know, I know some of you may be thinking that I'm shaped like a Greek god or something, you know? <laughs> and I don't blame you, you know what I'm saying? I know, I, I know I be looking sexy. You know, all this sexiness may be tricking you to think that I got a big, juicy ass. Well, guess what? I don't. You ever seen a surfboard? You know how flat that motherfucker is? That's my ass, you know what I'm saying? I look negative ass. It curves in like I owe my body ass. My debt is past due. Like, hey, motherfucker, you owe me some ass, motherfucker, and I had to pay him back. I'm on a loan for ass. That's how negative my ass is. I'm sorry for all you motherfuckers out there that thought I was, you know, big booty Judy, but I'm actually not. Yeah, we should probably hit the gym. When I said I have no ass, I mean, I have no ass. Oh, back. Oh, back, no ass. <laughs> you know, it is okay. You know, I wasn't blessed with a juicy ass, but that's okay, you know. Fucking hate my life. Where's my juicy ass? Uh, uh. Uh, fact number seven. As you guys may know, I am actually very talented. And you guys have seen me go from art to acting to all kinds of shit. But what you guys may not know is I actually have a very specific talent of playing a limited amount of instruments. Now, don't, don't go off, tell me, Alex, what the fuck? Well, look, a limited amount means that um, I can slightly play these instruments. Regardless, I can still play instruments, you know what I'm saying? I'll show you guys what I can do. The first little instrument I can play for you guys is called an ocarina. If you guys have never heard of this, it's from Zelda, baby. It's got the little Zelda symbol right here. So yeah, let me, let me play a little bit, ready? I mean, I did say limited, right? It's been a minute, you know, I'm a little rusty. I'm a little rusty. Let's try. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> hey, well, guess what? The next instrument that I can play is, well, baby, I can play the drums. <laughs> I really don't have no drum set around here. So, yeah. But you know what I can show you? I can show you a little clip of my other thing that I could do, you know? I could do slap body. You guys might have seen my concert on the internet, you know what I'm saying? I've gone a little viral if I do say so myself. <laughs> Check it out. On to number eight. You know, you guys have probably noticed this next fact because it's obviously always talked about in my videos. Well, guess what? Yes, I got italic font teeth. I have this attack called italic bite, you know, so if I bite you, I have to bite you sideways. It slices you sideways and shit. I know I got some fucked up grills, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys want to help a brother out, go ahead and subscribe or, you know, donate. Share it with your friends so that I can eventually maybe even make a video in the future of me redoing this whole grill situation, you know what I'm saying? Because you know what? I'm, I'm just sick of walking into hood ass neighborhoods and you know just smiling at somebody and then being like 
like, hey, dude, why the hell are you throwing up gang signs? And like, you, you, where you from, homie? And I'm like, dude, I just said hi and smiled, you motherfucker. What the fuck? Hey, man, how's it going? Hey, yo. What the fuck, homie? What? Hey. Where the fuck you from, cuz? Hey, dude, calm down, bro. I'm just, I ain't never seen you around here. What's up with them signs you throwing up, huh? What what fucking signs are you talking about, bro? I'm just these are my hands, homie. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm not talking about your goddamn hands. I'm talking about them teeth, man. They're throwing up gang signs like a motherfucker. My teeth? Oh hell no. What the fuck? What gang you from, huh? Where you from? Just tell me where you from, homie. What the fuck are you talking about, dog? I'm from here. I'm from this neighborhood. I live right there. What the fuck? Shit. Hey, you know what, cuz? You need to get your teeth fixed, cuz them motherfuckers throwing up gang signs like crazy. Shit. Fuck. Man, I need to call my dentist, bro. Man, fuck this shit. Man, fucking italic font, motherfucker. Oh, um, fact number nine. And number nine is just a little heartwarming clip just because I want you guys to see my two beautifully annoying dogs. I got a Dalmatian mix dog and I got a teddy bear dog. So uh, let's go ahead and introduce you to these fuckers. So this right here is Lola. She is our smallest puppy, our youngest dog. So meet Lola. Can you paw? Paw? Can you paw? Good girl. She was a little pain in the ass growing up, but she's doing Good job now. She's a little cutie now. She's three years old and she's a little teddy bear dog. That's what they call him. She just loves her belly rubs. That's Lola. <laughs> and then there's this weird motherfucker. This right here is Sam. Sam R. Jackson. Samuel. Sam. He's a little, you know, he's a little clingy and shit. It's all right. It's all right. So Sam is a Dalmatian Labradoodle mix. Well, he's technically a labradoodle, you know what I'm saying? So a lab. Yeah, he got most of his dad's features. He's uh he's got two brown spots on one of his sides. Is it this side? Not right here. See? Yeah. Unique motherfucker. But yeah, that's Sam for you guys. Sam R. Jackson. That's him right here. Alright, and last but not least. Fact number 10. For this final fact, I gotta let you guys know, I grew up as a theater kid. Yes, I grew up as a theater kid. I actually was in a theater group back in Mexico when I got deported. You know, I joined them when I was in high school and we started putting on plays for the city where we lived in. You know, people would come and pay to watch us. You know, we had very dark plays. We did a lot of dark comedy and that's probably why I enjoy doing such dark comedy and all that shit. So uh, yeah, shout out to Miguel out there. You know, love you, dude. He uh, he showed me a lot about theater. Um, he was our director out there and uh yeah he, he showed me a lot of how to be able to articulate you know express myself on stage and i appreciate him a lot but um yeah theater kid you tried for a long time but it's time to give it up because when you took me down right then i decided i gotta bring you down with me and that's what i'm here for You've destroyed my life, so it's now my turn to return the favor. Knock, knock. Bro. Mom, can you please get out? I, <laughs> sorry, not the keys and I didn't want to interrupt, I'm sorry. Uh, what, what are you doing, yeah? I'm trying to study my scene here. I've got a big day tomorrow, okay? I've got only today to rehearse. Oh, okay, okay. I, I was going to ask if you want to go get ice cream, you know? Please just leave me alone, okay? I'm just trying to get this done. Okay, okay, that's fine, okay. Bueno, uh, well, whatever you're doing, you know, have fun. Gosh. Freaking nerd. Yes, bye. Okay, see me. Okay, I love you, okay? Gosh. Anyways, where was I? Jose, creo que salió medio raro este. Se anda hablando solo en el espejo. Sí, vámonos. 
Well, that's it for today's video. I hope all you motherfuckers enjoyed. If you guys smiled, laughed, or even gave out a little smirk or anything on this video, then it's mandatory. You motherfuckers have to go and subscribe to the channel. But while you guys are down there, don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you guys know when I upload my next videos. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Shout out to the OG people that have been watching since 2015. Love you guys. We've come a long way this year. I'll see you guys in next week's video. And I hope you motherfuckers have a beautiful ass day. Peace. Ha, 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 ha.